If you're new to the channel, I'm Aaron Hallett. I write original Christian rock. Today, I was messing around with the guitar I have sitting on my couch. I just have that there to pick up and run scales and stuff at night. That's how I make sure I keep practicing or practice enough, I guess. I was just uh, making some coffee and I grabbed it and came up with a really like easy riff type thing. Actually, it's a chord progression. I think I might do like a key change for the chorus. I could probably just jump into like, so that's E major. Actually, maybe for this solo, I might do another key change. I'm going to do a bunch of key changes in this song. I'm just feeling like doing that right now. Anyway, I tapped out the tempo. What I do when I'm recording these videos or the idea behind it, that is, is songwriting is not that difficult. You just got to pick up an instrument or whatever you play or do or sing or you know, whatever it is, and just start putting stuff together and don't overthink it. I come up with uh, stuff based on an outline, so I'm usually going by like a song structure, which is just A, B, A, B, A, B. Subject to change per song, but that'll just kind of get the ball rolling, and then I can work with it as I'm going. For me, I pick up the guitar first, and then I'll just do left and right guitar overdubs if I want with like, just like extra parts, and then guitar solo, bass, drums, vocals. That's like 90% of the time, if not more, what I'm going to do. Like I said, original Christian rock, I just come up with it. And at some point I decided I'm just going to start putting this on video so people could see it's not that hard to create music. So I'm going to do a left guitar. You're going to hear a drum loop. It's keeping time. It's basically a glorified metronome. It's got the same sample sounds I'm going to use when I track drums. I change these sounds every so often. Usually I'll come up with like about 10 to 12 songs, put an album out and then change. All right, let's do it. Left guitar. I'm going to do an improvised guitar solo over, well, it's not really a third verse. It's more of a chorus with a key change. So instead of G, I went to F major. So I think I'm on the right measure here. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Okay, um, here I go. Improvised guitar solo. I'm going to do a bass part. So, um, yeah. Drums, got to delete the drum loop. I didn't do any of this yet. Delete the track the drum loop is on. I'm not using the uh, MIDI keyboard. That can go. Drum track. Metronome. So yeah, I'll play to this metronome. So I just finished up recording the drums, took a little break, put some lyrics together, came up with a melody, and I'm going to do vocals. Anyway, let's do it. So out in my head. I just finished that up. Um, I actually had to sing the last chorus again because I got to the second set of lyrics and I just looked at the wrong line and then just, yeah. <laughs> 
completely screwed it up. So I uh, started that over again. Luckily, the end chorus after the solo is like the easiest place ever to punch in. So that works. I'm not going to do harmonies. I'm just going to leave this as one line. Lyrics will be in the description box. You can check those out. Just look at the bottom of the lyric or the description box and you'll find the lyrics. I also have a bunch of places where you can purchase and stream my music. I've got a huge list of stuff like iTunes, Amazon, Spotify. If you use any one of the services listed, just go to it, type my name in the search bar and you'll find me. There's also a link on there and that'll just bring you to my YouTube topic page where you can listen. So if you use YouTube music, that's right there. The top link, that's there because I said this is Christian rock. I've searched around and know there's a lot of really bad, weird teachers and stuff out there. So... This is a link to what I consider probably the best teaching you're going to find anywhere. It's fantastic stuff. It's just teaching. No extras, just teaching. You go there, you're just going to see a website that has a bunch of information, study notes, and all kinds of different things. Translation from the original languages and, you know, that kind of stuff. Main reason for doing that being, like, when you translate into English from, say, New Testament Greek, it'll get a little bit screwed up or wonky. There's not really any good English translation because Greek is so precise that when you translate to English, you're going to lose something. So they they do that for the purpose of making clear various things. There's just a lot of cool stuff like that, historical things and what have you. But the whole idea is getting rid of all the extra traditions, baggage, and nonsense, and just teaching the Word of God. So they just go in, analyze the scriptures, say exactly what this is intended by the writers, and present it. They're doing a lot of teaching on faith. Faith is the only way you can please God. And when you get into analyzing the scriptures, you realize that's really throughout. That's what's being said. It's great stuff. I can't say enough about it. It's uh, probably more in-depth and well-presented than anyone else you're going to find anywhere. It's Pastor Melissa Scott. She's the pastor at the Faith Center in Glendale, California. She's been the pastor there since 2005. Before her, her late husband, Dr. Gene Scott, was the pastor there. The teaching from him to her, pretty consistent. It's just really good stuff. So they still play his stuff, her stuff plays. You can find both of it, or both of the teaching from each of them <laughs> on the website. So there's like separate streams, and then there's a combined stream, and a whole bunch of other ways to watch, but you can get to all of that. So anyway, I just put it there. If anyone's interested, you can check it out. That's pretty much what I figure I'm going to do. Like, just say, hey, come see, look at this. As far as my stuff, if you want to keep seeing my music or hearing my music, that is, uh, subscribe, like, comment, share, check out my playlists, check out the uh, places you can find my music in the description box and that sort of thing. For now, thanks for watching. The video is done, except you're going to see the final version of the song with a bunch of windows and me playing all the parts. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Bye. So you're not in my